fishing today and I caught a big one. Can you hear him flopping around the bathroom? That's how you can tell he's fresh. Area code three, two, three. I already tasted him. He's delicious. You'll love him. What the hell is this shit? Tripping Let me out, goddammit. Oh, I'll kill that crazy bitch. You have nightmares about them. Help me out here. No, no, no. As soon as know? I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! But do you know the average person eats several pounds of insects a year? The majority of that weight is composed of roaches, ants, and spiders. Just knowing that as soon as you close your eyes, a big fat centipede is going to drop into your mouth and crawl down your throat. <laughs> I can't do it. I never sleep at night. You know, they volunteer to eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. So, you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at work. And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in the Baby girl. Yes. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Excuse me, uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. What? Oh, yeah, I wish you the boys expected you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows.
little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes made of ticky tacky little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes all the same. There's a green one and a pink one and a blue one and a yellow one and they're all made out of ticky tacky and they all look just the same. And the people in the houses all went to the university where they were put in boxes and they came out all the same. And there's doctors and there's lawyers and there's business executives and they're all made out of ticky tacky and they all look just the same microphone and people all over they're watching our television show and they're loving it because i've run out of material to sing but i'm singing for you baby because this is what showtime wants and i'm done now and i thank you and goodbye everyone The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Then you can join the crows on the fence after we're done here. The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Stolen? Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. <laughs> the Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. I want him found. I want him found. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, the Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Sanitary baron is an anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil door. than the anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now... I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Money, right? Been a while.
watched. I know it. Something followed me. They could be watching me right now. Make them stop. Make them stop. Get their eyes off me. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller. Are the eyes really gone? Will it really be okay? Insects. As in you have an insect problem? Or chirping crickets? Do I still distract you? L.A. and his crew are reported missing tonight. The team of the popular Supernatural-themed program were filming around downtown Los Angeles, according to the show's producer. But friends and family of the crew started to worry when they failed to return from a night of shooting. No trace has been found yet of the haunted L.A. team, and rumors by the show's fans speculate the crew met a supernatural end. Though police disagree and have started a sweep of the areas where the crew was filming. A tourist bus destined for the ancient city of Angkor Wat that failed to return Wednesday night was found this morning, though without any trace of its operator or passengers. Cambodian officials have dispatched several military units into the area to search through the surrounding jungle amidst concerns that... Up in. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week, I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood.
Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and, and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what, never mind. We have to help you. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? But your face, you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I, I can't believe it. Yeah. Sorry. My mistake. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? Oh, wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. What? This place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. And you've tuned into the dead of night. What's up? Nobody uh, to fall asleep next uh, to you? Go welcome to Red Spot, radio, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite and beverage hey, for 89 cents. Blah, blah, blah. You need help or something? KL5 KTRK. Um, Looks humility? like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite Seriously. to speak to yours truly. You want some orange juice so or something far, to help you come down? Because, like, uh, you're wigging. Uh, insects. Insects. As in you have oh, an are you that lawyer? Tripping You're gonna have to talk to the manager, dude, because like that sexual harassment case, I after. like don't even no, know. No, no. Okay, don't you and know? like it wasn't when my ass you got. They can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. You, you uh, can't prevent it. This isn't gonna sleep. turn out to be I mean, ironic, well, is you it? Do? You're not are like a serial killer, are you? I read something. I don't know where. Always. You should come out and see my band, the Bowl of Cereal. We're playing yeah. tomorrow night at the, the crematorium. No cover for chicks. We're gonna ruin spiders. the place. Just knowing that as soon as you close your eyes, a big fat centipede yeah. is gonna drop into the your mouth and crawl rocks. down your throat. They don't let me in anymore, but I damn the it. girls in there. I dude. never sleep at night. It's like a midget you know, smuggling they voluntarily ring eat insects. Uh, in if some you're countries. into that kind of yeah. thing, I mean. Well, those countries probably need Jesus. So uh, you never hey, sleep you know, at night. you should really ask me about the special, you know. I sleep at work. And what exactly do you do? I'm glad you asked that, baby. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on a magic I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grape juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any. I see. So, have you done any other Put your thing? hands up! Put your fucking hands up right now! now open the really register! For some stories what? Crawling around in the old I said garden. open it, So, fuck, if you haven't really written anything... Oh, God! Oh, God! Don't hurt me! Because I once fixed my toilet... God damn, you're pretty! What do you see? 
Is there anyone what in this city doing, that doesn't man? call themselves a writer just or actor or director? Please, please, just to those that's right, bitch. In those Beg films. for it. Deeming Look, yourself something you're not. Leave her alone. Betrayed. Shut your fucking hole and open the register. I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. <laughs> oh, would you please state what you do? I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studios. <laughs> Don't get me started. Oh, yeah, here's your big chance to. <laughs> Jesus, man, Jesus. You were like, Jesus, I've never seen anything like that. I was going to jump in and help out, but Jesus, man, thanks. Listen, I tell you what, let's say as like a thank you, I pass on some of my skills, huh? Seriously, bro, I've got mad skills at haggling down a price, yo. Next time you're trying to buy something, offer the dude selling it 50% less than what he's asking. When he tells you you're fucking crazy, turn to walk away. He'll call you back, and then you can make a more realistic offer. Before you know it, you guys will be haggling, and you'll walk away with a damn good deal. Break it up, you two. Final no, thank you. I have some other things Jesus, could have been the end of me thing. tonight. If anyone's interested in hiring, thank you. Numbers, oh, three, thank three, you. I was so scared. I just stopped off to buy some milk for the baby. Again, oh God, I can't believe how close he came to losing me. Here, please, just take it. I insist. Stop thinking about me. Don't go anywhere, boys. Does your penis always? Yeah? What do you want? What? Blood Baron? What the hell? Who are you? Didn't Isaacson... Ah, damn. 
You must have the wrong guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Get lost. Tape? What tape? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I I'm getting the hell out of here. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Uh, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings. I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the... Oh, Christ! <gasps> Well there, sugar puss. Might want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. 
Who else would be waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in, although that is part of my job. No, you see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past, oh, several months now, the dead have been getting up with an itch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. Nobody knows why, but they're working on it. Till they figured out they needed a volunteer to patch the problem, and I stepped forward. Problem temporarily solved. The Baron's happy. I get to shoot zombies, and guarantee I get my blood for another month. I've carved out a nice niche here. Shoot them, blow them away, frag them. Whatever the situation calls for. Sometimes I throw in chopping and dicing just to mix it up. Who knows? Vampire necro hoodoo, toxic waste, solar radiation. The important part is, they continue to rise up, and I get to put them down. Everybody's a winner. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. A lot of the stiffs around here used to be asshole celebrities, too. Bonus. I love my job, what can I say? By the way, hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time these goths snuck in? Ooh, wasn't pretty. Uh, you know, I know you're technically dead and all, but god damn, you are one striking looking piece of ass. Where were you when you were still breathing, huh? I don't suppose you'd still be interested in a little, uh... Business, right. I was thinking I'd head up to the strip and look for a dance partner for the old naughty tango. But, uh, you're kind of giving me the hot, uh, want to save me a trip? Really? I mean, really. Just don't bite it, alright? What? I mean my neck. Made good time. Hand me the item. I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first, this tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us, however. Oh.
It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Usually, I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Certainly. Always draped in rotten tatters and father dances in the dark. There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm. I can see that's got your attention. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. somewhere. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? What can I tell you about them? <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, 
and I haven't seen him since. Isaac Abrams. His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blunt force is the only thing they understand. Master? And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323 KL5 KTRK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Two.
Vader, monster. I will smash you, crush you, tear the flesh from your bones. <laughs> No! Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters, you all! Abominations! A curse upon the earth! <laughs> no! There will be no more talk. Death for you, demon. Death and final darkness. Any luck? I admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside, but I'm glad to see you've proved otherwise. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Need a ride? Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. You did. That's quite an accomplishment for one so young, Neonate. And with discretion as well. Again, you impress me. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality.
Hop in.